What's up guys, Sal here. So reports about the Galaxy Note 21 getting scrapped have been doing the rounds of the internet well before the Galaxy S21 series was launched in January. Several reports said that the Galaxy Note 20 would be the last of its kind, while others maintained that the Galaxy Note 21 was due for release in mid-2021. However, back in March, the company's co-CEO DJ Co has confirmed that there will be no Galaxy Note 21 smartphone released in 2021. He cited the global semiconductor shortage, which is now beginning to affect key smartphone components, as a reason for this move. However, this doesn't mean that Samsung plans on scrapping the Galaxy Note line altogether. It will still launch a Galaxy Note smartphone next year once the supply situation improves a little. But in the meantime, a very interesting thing happened at one of the biggest official Samsung stores in South Korea. The store acknowledged the Galaxy Note 21 and Galaxy Note 21 Ultra in the sculpture at a Samsung store that was just opened yesterday. The names of the Note 21 along with other Galaxy products that are either announced or yet to be announced are engraved on a big Google logo at the center. Now at first glance some of you would imply that the Galaxy Note 21 is indeed happening this year. But I don't think that's going to be the case because the primary reason for Samsung to postpone the Galaxy Note 2 next year is the global chip shortage. And the situation there isn't improving at all. In fact, it has gone worse. A growing number of manufacturers around the world are having trouble securing supplies of semiconductors, delaying the production and delivery of goods. And Samsung itself confirmed that there will be no Galaxy Note this year. Now this sculpture could mean Samsung may launch the Galaxy Note 21 instead of directly jumping to the Galaxy Note 22 next year. And although that's a possibility, I don't think that will happen either. Because people who are not into tech would assume that the Galaxy Note 21 is inferior to the Galaxy S22 purely based on the numbering system. So if Samsung is indeed launching the Galaxy Note next year, it would be called Galaxy Note 22 and Note 22 Ultra. Now unlike in the past, Samsung wouldn't launch the Galaxy Note 22 in August or in the second half of the year. Instead, it will launch early in the first half as confirmed by the co-CEO DJ Ko himself because Samsung wants to give some breathing room to their foldable lineup as they think foldables are the future and they want to increase their reach to more people before Apple steps in and sweep a big chunk of the market share. In any case, one can only hope that Samsung uses the extra year to reinvigorate the Galaxy Note franchise in 2022. Over the years, the differences between the Galaxy S and Galaxy Note smartphones have been minimal, so let's hope Samsung has something exciting planned for the Galaxy Note range in the coming years. With that said, Samsung is pushing the limits of OLEDs by creating a display with an astonishing pixel density of 1000 pixels per inch. Right now, the smartphones with the highest pixel density to date is made by Sony on the Xperia 1 Mark II with its 6.5 inch OLED that has a pixel density of 643 ppi. The Galaxy S21 Ultra on the other hand has 515 pixels per inch. To be honest, I don't think we need such high pixels on a tiny smartphone display, so it's possible it may not be for smartphones at all. I guess time will tell. Of course, do consider subscribing for all the latest tech news. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.